Attorney to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Attorney Espiritu. I agree uh, na hindi dapat binababaan ang age of criminal responsibility. I disagree na dapat parusahan ang mga magulang. Tandaan natin ang krimen sa na dito sa, sa baba ng ating lipunan sa mga mahirap ay dahil sa social problems na kriniate ng ating lipunan. And I also agree na dapat bigyan natin ng tamang value sa mga kabataan. Dapat tinuturo sa school na ba masama ang extrajudicial killing, masama ang red tagging, masama si Marcos, ang marami siyang human rights violation. I disagree. Nung panahon... Okay. Ay, 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 Sinisigawan mo ba ako, sira, ulo, at tatapusin ko ang buhay mo? Lintek na yan. Thank you. Wow! Attorney Espiritu, you have your 20 seconds left. Dapat you were interrupted. Dapat tinuturuan natin ang kabataan na respetuhin ang buhay, ang human rights, respetuhin ang buhay ng lahat at hindi dapat pumapatay ang ating mga gobyerno. At hindi nagnanakaw ang ating gobyerno. Diyan tayo magkakaroon ng mga mabuting henerasyon ng kabataan. Agree Thank you. At, Attorney Gadon, you have... Pwede na! 45 minutes for your interpolation. Yes. Yes, Attorney Gadon, you, you may now interpolate with Attorney Espiritu. 45 seconds. Yeah, uh, palagi nalang pinopoint out niya. Palagi nilang sinasabi yung, uh, yung uh, human rights violations ni Marcos. Eh, unang-una, sino ba ang nagpapatay dun sa mga NPA na gustong sumirender? Eh, di ba si Joma? Oh. Eh, bakit din yung sinasayin si Marcos? Attorney Espiritu, you have 30 seconds sino for your rebata. Sino bang bumamba sa Plaza Miranda? Yes. Ha? Sila Joma. Okay. I'll, oh. go, I'll go by the record. Bakit yung sinasayin si kay Marcos yun? I don't, it's my time. Ang galing, ang galing. <laughs> This is, we should not use this forum for a propaganda against the Marcoses. It was, it was intended. Hi, you man! Attorney Gadon, your 45 seconds is over. We have 30 seconds for Attorney Espiritus rebuttal. Binuksan mo ang usapan, wag mo akong pagbawalan. I go by the record, Amnesty International, 3,257 ang pinatay nung panahon ni Marcos. 35,000 ang mga... It's my time, wag kang bastos. It's my time. 35,000. 35,000 ang tinorture. 70,000 ang kinulong. It's a matter of record. Thank you. Na. Oh, my goodness. 30 seconds for a bottle. No, nagkaroon ng kaso sa Hawaii, yung 10,000 human rights victims, nung in-implement nila dito, yung nag-file sila ng petition sa, sa uh, RTC, wala silang na-present ang ebidensya. Pagdating sa Court of Appeals, wala rin. So asan yung sinasabi nila yung human rights violations na yan? Uh, we have dismissed yung kaso. We have interpolation from Attorney Roque. That would be 45 seconds. Kung ano man ang nangyari sa nakaraan, inisa isa ko po ang records. Wala pong kaso for human rights violations sa Amerika si Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Inisa isa ko rin po ang mga kaso na decided po ng ating Philippine Supreme Court. Totoo po, co-administrator si Ferdinand Bobong Marcos, wala pong kaso na siya mismo nagnakaw. Ay, hayop! Ano yun? Walang yan, ano yun? Pambihira! Anong ginagawa nun? Sira ulo yun ah! Uh, Attorney Espiritu has 30 seconds for a rebuttal and we have a question again yes. from Dr. Thank you. Uh, we don't... You have, you have the time. You have uh, the opportunity, Attorney Espiritu, for a 30 second. My, my microphone is yes. being uh, silenced all the time when I do my rebuttal. Can I be able to continue yes, without attorney. my microphone being turned off? Yes, Attorney Espiritu. Okay, with all due respect uh, to uh, Attorney Harry Roque, I know your history. You were anti-Marcos before. You were for human rights before. 
Your life, you spend your life against the Marcoses, you work for human rights, and now that you were given a Senate spot under the party of Bongbong Marcos, now you cry hallelujah and praise Marcos. Si Raul, ano? Kaya mo yun? you alluded to attorney rocky we will give him 30 seconds for a rebuttal and there was nothing respectful with what you said against me ang katotohanan po ang pinag-uusapan hindi po ang patay na marcos ang pinag-uusapan ang buhay na marcos sa akin po panagutin ang mga nagkasala pero yung mga hindi po gumawa ng kahit anong kasalanan wag po natin idamay sa sise yun lang po okay hi man <laughs> Let's go back to the question that was raised by Dr. Cardona and now she's raising her hands um, for, I guess, a follow-up question. Yes, uh, it takes a topic on the children and then this is what happens. That's why we really have a big problem on this law. Nagiging juvenile na po tayo. 